You know, so some people say rentals are ruining neighborhoods. You've had uh, across Tampa Bay, you've seen a huge influx of hedge funds, investors. Um, you know, more than two, almost two thirds of our home sales are cash sales right now, which is pretty, pretty astronomical. And you know, some people are concerned that it's ruining neighborhoods. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm interested to hear from you if you've got thoughts on this. If you think that rentals are ruining neighborhoods, if you're seeing it going on in your neighborhood, or if you think there's good to it or bad to it, I'd love to hear from you. Eight five five nine seven zero WFLA against eight five five nine seven zero nine three five two. Um, you know, the number of single family rentals has grown across the country. Some homeowners seeing their neighborhoods changing. And, and again, when you when you bring an established investor or hedge fund that, that knows what to do, I think they're they're improving neighborhoods by, you know, they're fixing up homes, they're making them nicer, they're they're fixing up kind of the eyesores in the neighborhood. But I can also understand that there are a lot of people out there buying homes as rentals that maybe aren't going in and fixing them up as nice. And then you've got a, a renter that is not taking as good a care of the property, you know, kind of almost bringing down the neighborhood, um, you know, because they're not an owner. And historically, you know, not not to bash tenants or, or people that rent, but historically someone who owns the home has a little bit more pride in the maintenance of it yep. than someone who rents. So, you know, it, it, we, we've had people, because we've been known to work with the hedge funds, you know, we've helped them buy properties. Um, and, you know, we've had people call our office and, and complain, hey, you know, we got now my neighborhood's turning into this big rental place. and. And then we've had people call up and say, hey, man, there's the, you know, they came in and bought two or three houses in my neighborhood, and, and they look amazing now. And they, they replaced the sod, and they did all this great stuff. So there's, there's good and bad to it. I think you know, the, the, the good to it, I know you, you own a lot of rental property just like I do, and I think the good to it is, is that you're, you're getting some of these you know, distressed properties off the market in the hands of somebody who will spend some money on them and clean them up. And, and I think the other good aspect to it is it's improved our real estate market. It has brought our values up because of kind of the domino effect that the hedge fund sells, you know, buys the hundred thousand dollar home, and then that guy's got to go out and buy a hundred and fifty. And it's it's created more transactions. It's created jobs. Oh, yeah. It's you know it's done a lot of positive things. But I think the, so the homeowners that are out there maybe struggling with a, a a bad a bad tenant here and there in, in certain neighborhoods don't necessarily you know in my opinion don't necessarily say that. All rentals are running in the neighborhoods. Maybe you have a bad landlord in your neighborhood. Yeah, you, you're, you know, there's always going to be a downside of any type of situation, you know, but I, I think that the pros far outweighs the cons, in my opinion. I mean, you've seen the, the inventory completely, you know, uh, shrink out there. You've seen uh, home value stabilize. Uh, you see, I see on a daily basis appraisals using these sales as comps, which is, you know, making helping these things. Helping pull prices up. Yeah, absolutely. It's helping them tremendously. Whereas before, it was like you were in a downward spiral of people agree that a home was worth a certain price. But the comps were just off by a little bit. All these cash guys coming in and buy them, they don't care about that. Right. You know? They're looking at a rent yield. They're looking yeah. at how much money can we get out of it, you know, from a rent perspective. And, and again, I think there's there is good and bad to it. And and again, you can have a bad tenant. You know, if they're doing a lot of rentals, or if you're dealing with somebody who's not an experienced landlord, it doesn't screen well. Everything I've seen from the the hedge funds says that they do a pretty decent job of of really wanting to get a good tenant in there. They don't want vacancy. They don't want bad people in there. You know they're not perfect, but but just you know their goal is to get someone decent in there and improve neighborhoods. Yep. I mean, you know so, um, but at the same time, you know you, just like with anything, you group everybody in and you say all rentals are ruining neighborhoods, and that's really not the case. There might be a bad landlord in your neighborhood or a bad tenant. That doesn't mean the whole system's off. There might be plenty of people in your neighborhood renting that you have no idea are renting. But you know what I find a lot too is I'll hear sometimes if there's an issue with a rental home in a neighborhood, someone will be telling me about it, how bad it is, and complaining and this and that. And I'll ask him, I said, have you called the owner? And the answer is no. Right. So we'll just call them. <laughs> or send them a letter. Or, or send them a letter, yeah, because if you call them, you know, and they rectify the problem, there you go. If and not, then, you know, that's another matter. Well, and, and, and a chance, you know. Well, right, know. and at the same time, would you rather that home be vacant and distressed and not maintained right. and have vagrants in it and people breaking right. into it, kids having going in and playing in the pool in the backyard and getting hurt? I mean, you know, all the banks, you know, you know, board up the pools, board up the houses, I mean, you know, it's just as much of an eyesore to have that than it is to have maybe a tenant that leaves some bicycles in the front yard. Or, you know, I, I would I would tell people, you know, if they're out there in these neighborhoods where they see a lot of rentals, and, and you know, it's probably predominantly in you know subdivisions that are less than ten years old, mm -hmm. a lot of East Hillsboro and North Hillsboro, a lot of that going on. And you know, if you're out there, th think about the positives of what it's bringing too. You know, don't look at the big picture and and understand that you know our real estate market has always been, you know founded upon principles that, that you know, influence and, and almost encourage investment by landlords. Not everyone's meant to be a homeowner. So mm -hmm. would you rather those homes go vacant and, you know, be, yeah. be not maintained? 
But but at the same time, though, I think there there's certainly um, a void out there when it comes to property management. You know, in, in terms of good property management, it's a, and it's exactly why we opened a property management company. We we saw that. Um, occur, you know, and again, there are some great property management companies out there, but we've partnered with them. We've had them, you know, manage some of our own rentals, and we've had really bad experiences. Either they don't do a great job of screening, they don't do a great job of cleaning up the property, whatever it is. You know, we felt like there was a void in that marketplace, and and we heard from consumers, we'd hear from our clients that we referred to some of these companies, and they'd say, hey, you know, look, I'm, you know, here's all the problems I'm having, and. And, you know, so we opened our own property management company. I talked about it about a month ago on the show. It's, you know, Dynamic Tampa Rentals is, is our company. And, you know, we are, you know, we are, you know, starting up that division. And, and really the main reason we're doing it is because we feel like we can apply the same levels of service that we provided our home seller and buyer clients, bring it over to the property management side, maybe learn from, you know, some of the mistakes we've made as, as property owners and landlords and, and help our clients make good good decisions. But... I think, you know, if you look at it, say, rentals are ruining neighborhoods, um, you know, I don't really know that it's the rental or the owners. I right. think a lot of times it's a bad tenant or, or it's a misunderstanding about, you know, the benefit versus the, the cost. Yeah, it's just all about the care of the home and who's in there and how well they're taking care of it. You know, you look at a home, a home doesn't say, hey, I'm an owner-occupied home or, hey, I'm a rental right. home over here. It's just you know, the people that are there. At the end of the day, it's just all about and it people just and seems they that, for Well, it. and it just seems that naturally homeowners are proud people. So, you know, naturally, sometimes they assume that it's a rental. Well, I think, I, but I also think we could also pull up a, a litany of you know, pictures or experiences of homeowners that right. may have their home in exactly. worse condition than you'd ever So it seems like that when it's a renter, renter that, that, that isn't, you know, keeping up great, it, it earns more ire. It's almost like a homeowner yeah. is like, Look, if a homeowner, it's his property, he earns the right to do it. But if it's a renter, all of a sudden it's it's brought, it, it's brought like the whole system is broken, and now we have all these renters, and, right. you know, and, and there's just as many. I mean, if you drive through neighborhoods, you can see just as many homeowners that aren't taking mm -hmm. care of the yard, that, oh, yeah. you know, have an old leaky roof. and.